Have you ever found yourself feeling like this? Nah, 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 nah. If you can identify with any of that, I'm diagnosing you with Lost Crojo. The good news is that it's temporary and I can help you get your Crojo back with these simple steps. Hi everybody, I'm Elise from the blog LePetitSaintCrochet.com and the first thing we need to do is to define what the term Crojo actually means. This is from Happily Hooked Magazine and I think it sums it up perfectly. Crojo, slang for crochet mojo. It means your zest for crochet, your passion or yearning for the craft. Sometimes you just don't feel like it. You've lost your Crojo and even squishy yarn has no appeal. You may be feeling sad, you may be feeling a bit of of panic but I want you to know that you're not alone every single crocheter is going to lose their crojo at one time or another and I want you to notice that I said when you lose your crojo not if because I don't know any crocheters that have been crafting for longer than a few months and have never lost their crojo it's not if it's when but don't panic there's a lot of things you can do I'm gonna give you my best tips for when you lose your cro <laughs> I'm gonna give you my best tips for when you lose your crojo because guess what I've been there many times before right now you may be feeling absolutely panicked because you've lost a love for something that you enjoy that you love to spend time doing and maybe it actually brings you stress relief it's something that you do with friends and it just brings you a lot of happiness and you may be feeling like ah what am I going to do now it's okay take a deep breath it's gonna be okay I promise Promise. I've lost my crojo many times before and there's a few things that you can do to help yourself along the way and the first one is to not panic know that this is a temporary situation and you'll be back to crocheting and loving it in no time when you've lost your crojo it's really important to take a break don't force yourself to crochet because that will only make matters worse don't look at your latest yarn purchase and feel guilty that you're not working on it right now and don't feel guilty when that someone in your life says to you oh you bought all this yarn and now you've quit and you're not going to crochet anymore you're just taking a break that's it you're going to come back to it and so while you need to take that break from crochet it doesn't mean that you have to stop being creative in your life because studies have proven that being creative actually helps with stress reduction anxiety depression all kinds of things so I don't want you to stop being creative just put the crochet hook down for now while you may not be crocheting for a while that doesn't mean that you can't still play with all that gorgeous yarn this may be the perfect time to learn a new skill like knitting Nancy from Noble Knits has just come out with her 30-day growth course for knitters and it is amazing I've had a chance to look over it and let me just say that it is totally comprehensive it's perfect for those of you who have a little bit of knitting in your background and you really need to get those skills up to snuff the the course has 53 lessons, tons of projects, so many great video tutorials. Every lesson is broken down. It is organized so perfectly. It is a fabulous course. Through September 7th of 2021, you will get the early bird discount of $69. After that, the course goes up to $99. Once you go through this course, you will be a very confident knitter. But if you are a true beginner, Nancy also has a free course for complete beginners. Those of you who are totally new to knitting and need to go at a slower pace and I will leave a link for both of those courses in the description box below one of my favorite things to do when I have lost my crojo is to organize my yarn that is one of the things that will get my creative juices flowing especially when I take a chaotic mess and making it really pretty putting all the colors together and just making it look beautiful and if you don't have my super simple yarn organization printable workbook and yarn labels make sure to check the link in the description box below and I will send it right over to you and don't be surprised if you feel a little bit inspired to grab your crochet hook after you've been playing and organizing all that gorgeous yarn 
One of the things that has helped me when I feel that lack of motivation when it comes to my crochet projects is to switch up the type of project that I'm working on. I tend to work on detailed, tedious amigurumi projects that take a lot of time and mental focus. And when I can feel that I'm losing my crojo, I know it's time to switch up the type of project I'm working on. One of the things that I did back in January when I needed a mental break and when I was losing my crojo, hi Miss Olive, was I switched it up and I started working on this amazing granny square blanket project from Sandra Paul from Cherry Heart. This is the granny goes large blanket and I will tell you that it is a dream to work on. This worked up super quick. It is huge and you can use up all kinds of yarn with this project but it was completely mindless. I didn't even need a pattern. I could just grab it and start wherever I was and Miss Olive loves this blanket. It. So if you are feeling that lack of motivation, you have lost your crojo, maybe you just need to switch up the type of projects that you're doing. Maybe you only do garments, maybe you should try amigurumi, or maybe you only do blankets and you should try making a sweater, or you do amigurumi. Maybe you just need a mindless blanket to get you back into the groove. Another thing you can do if you have lost your crojo is to find a crochet along. Those are so much fun to do because when you are working on one collective project with a whole group of people, it can be really fun. If you don't know what a crochet along is, it's when a designer puts out a pattern and they organize for everyone to make the project at the same time. So sometimes they will just release one part of the pattern week by week by week and everyone will work on the same part of the project together. Many times they have Facebook groups where everybody can interact and share their progress, which is really fun. You can find crochet along on Ravelry, on Facebook, on Instagram. You can even Google them. Sometimes that's the motivation you need to be able to get back into that crocheting rhythm is to crochet with other people. Find one collective project that the whole community does together and that feeling of community and camaraderie can really boost that motivation and help you to feel like picking up your crochet hook again. One thing to try if you are feeling that lack of motivation for crocheting is to simplify your whips. Whips are works in progress and some of us tend to collect a lot of them. So if you have a large pile of unfinished projects that are collecting under your bed, in your craft room, in the closets, it may be time to go through those whips and really make some hard decisions about the ones that you know you're going to finish and the ones that you are never going to finish. She just bit me. You want to get up there? Okay, come on. Olive tells me that she wants to go onto the top of my crochet cabinet by giving me little love bites, saying, Mom, put me up there. Really go through those whips and make sure that they really are going to bring you joy. And if they're not, frog them and reuse that yarn. But if you're really struggling in this area, I actually have a printable called Honey, Get Control of Your Whips. I'll leave a link for it in the description box below. I've gotten a lot of good feedback about it and it has really helped a lot of people to make those decisions about which whips they're going to keep, which ones they're not going to keep, and to simplify those decisions and to keep it all really organized. You will find a link for Honey Get Control of Your Whips in the description box below. <laughs> so this next tip is my favorite way to get my crojo back, but it may not be the best one, but it definitely is my preferred way to get my crojo back on, and that is to go yarn shopping. I recently went up to Black Mountain Yarn Shop up in Black Mountain, North Carolina, and that gave me so much inspiration to be surrounded by some of the most beautiful yarn I have ever seen. I made a video of it just last week, so if you missed it, you'll find the little card up here in the corner corner or up here. It really inspired me. I was overflowing with ideas and excitement and all I wanted to do was get my crochet hook out and start working right then. If you're feeling blah about crocheting right now, how about check out some new yarn, whether you're shopping online at Love Crafts or maybe you stop into Michael's or Hobby Lobby or Joann's or maybe you're lucky enough to have a wonderful local yarn shop that has some really gorgeous, unusual, amazing yarns. So if 
shopping gets you excited, maybe go on a little shopping spree just for that special yarn to get you excited, to get that hook back in your hand. Sometimes all you need to be inspired to pick up that crochet hook again is to make something for someone special. Sometimes we're just going along crocheting things for ourselves or family members and sometimes all we need is that spark to make something for that special friend or maybe there's a child in your life or maybe you're going to have a new grandbaby or a daughter-in-law or maybe you're pregnant with your first baby or maybe your husband has been begging you to make something for him for a very long time and you haven't done it yet. Find somebody that you would love to make something for that you would love to just say hey I appreciate you I love you I think you're so wonderful and keep them in mind as you make this project a lot of times that is what motivates me and that's what gets me really excited to complete projects sometimes all you need is a little inspiration to get your crojo back and I find going on Instagram or Pinterest or Facebook and searching for the things that I really love that would be amigurumi to find something that is so inspiring and you may find somebody new that just really gets you excited about crocheting again. So whether you are into garments or blankets or what other things can you make? Home decor items. Start searching for those on those platforms and see what you can find. So many times I just need to see other people being excited about crocheting and that gives me the excitement. I hope you feel a little bit inspired and maybe a little bit of your crojo coming back after today's episode. If you liked it, please Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and please leave me a comment about which one of these tips was your favorite, or if you have your own ways of motivating yourself and finding inspiration, I would love to read it, and I know other people would as well. But I just appreciate every single one of you so very much for showing up to my channel and supporting me. It just means the world to me, and I hope you all stay safe out there and happy stitching.